Hey, so the question is, uh, how do I get kids who tend to be you know, slow twitch athletes to utilize a stretch reflex? Um, so, one, what is a stretch reflex? The stretch reflex is if you're you know, in the hole, when, you're, when your muscles are lengthened, and your GTO sends a signal to recruit tons of motor units to get out of the hole. So, so this is being lengthened. What happens, the nervous system fires, your pecs are being lengthened, nervous system fires to recruit, recruit more motor units. Same in the squat. When you're down deep in the hole, deep in the hole, boom, you're bouncing out of the hole. There's a stretch reflex. Your quads are getting lengthened and, the, and your nervous system fires to get out of the hole. You know, same with if you're doing bounds or box jumps, your calves are lengthened, hitting the, the foot and going, using the stretch reflex from, from your calves on bounds and box jumps. So how do, I, how do you figure out if your kids can't use a stretch reflex. You know, how do you figure out that they are slow twitch? Because um, ten, it tends to be the people who can't use a slow twitch tend to be slow, or that can't use a stretch reflex tend to be slow twitch athletes. You know, you'll see moderately fast twitch guys and like fast twitch athletes struggle to use the, the stretch reflex at first, but if you teach them, okay, only quarter, do a quarter squat, quarter squat and jump out of the hole in uh, box jumps or, or hurdle hops, boom, boom, don't squat deep, just a quarter squat, quarter squat. You can teach them once and they'll, they'll learn it, whereas a slower twitch type kid will keep sinking you know, to jump or sinking deep to go over the hurdles or, or there's like a delay if they're doing jump lunges, there's a delay because there's no utilization of the stretch reflex or if they're benching, they'll go, Ugh, and then they can get up, and Ugh, everything sinks. Or, you know, if they're dumbbell benching, you'll, this is where you see it the most, is it, it goes down, it's, it's like air just blows out of them. And then they got to struggle to get everything back up. So that is easy, the easy way to see if, you know, if they correct it quickly, they're probably a moderately fast twitch type kid or they're a really fast twitch type kid. But if they don't, they tend to be a slow twitch type kid. Um, and it's important for these kids type of athletes to learn how to utilize a stretch reflex because it's going to increase their sports performance. And again, you know, these kids might not be Olympic champions in weightlifting. They might not be Olympic, you know, throw 70 feet in the shot. They might not be the best running backs or whatever, but they can still, they can still achieve personal, you know, peaks and accomplishments and, and achieve their goals but you have to get them to, to learn how to properly utilize the, the stretch reflex. So to start, what I like to do with these athletes is to ingrain in them that you, you have to wake up your nervous system. So, cause that's the biggest thing is with slow twitch type athletes is that it's mainly that their nervous system's dead. It doesn't work as well as, or it's not as aware or heightened as someone who's more moderate fast twitch to or fast twitch. So, what I like to do, especially with the legs, is I'll get them on the snatch. So they, they do a couple really fast snatches to really wake up the nervous system. And then the lift that you see it the most where they collapse without using the stretch reflex is the front squat. So they'll tend to go down in the front squat and when they get to the hole, they collapse and they round their back and they're sinking forward because their nervous system in, in these types of athletes really struggles to coordinate the upper body with the legs, so it, it, it struggles to coordinate everything as one. You know, when you see a kid go in, he hammers out front squats for the first time, he's got really good posture and he's bouncing out of the hole, he's a fast switch type kid. You see a kid go in and he's sinking all over and you're trying to correct him, he's probably got mobility issues, but he's probably also a slow twitch type athlete. So the best way to fix it, do the snatches, do box jumps, a couple, you know, two to three reps. Heighten the nervous system. Get them over on the front squat, and then you guys, okay, you got to bounce out of the hole, but keep the chest up, elbows up, bounce out of the hole, bounce out of the hole, and start with weight that they can do it with properly. You know, so the, the more you heighten their nervous system before you train them, the better they will learn these principles of utilizing the stretch reflex. You know, so the, the front squat's a great way to do that. And another way I like to do it with the upper body is you can do this at a dumbbell bench. You can get guys, okay. Look, you do some six clap push-ups, wake up the nervous system, rest about a minute to a minute and a half. The nervous system's heightened. Get on the dumbbell bench. They gotta bring it down, one and a, 
up a quarter, back down and up. So there's two stretch reflexes that they have to learn how to use to get up. And with a slow twitch type athlete, keep the reps four to six reps because that's where their weakness is. You know, these are types of kids that they could bench 300 pounds but they could get 290 for five reps. They're slow twitch, okay? The fast twitch type kid could bench 300 pounds and only do 240 for five reps. So their weakness is in you know, the two rep range to six rep range. They could do reps all day, but they can't do the high threshold reps, you know, one to six reps. So you've got to constantly, you know, so you can work a speed movement and then you get them on there, you have a contrast with a heavier movement, but they've got to think, utilize the stretch reflex. The big thing too is someone that's a, a faster, a, a faster twitch type athlete can, can learn this, these principles in, in a day. And, and a moderate fast twitch athlete might take a week, but a slow twitch type athlete might take six months to a year. So, you know, they could learn the principles of the snatch and they could learn the technique of the clean, but they can't learn how to bounce out of the hole. They can't learn how to stay in a quarter squat and jump. They, they struggle to learn how to, to even use, utilize the stretch in the, in the bench or the stretch in the dumbbell bench or the, or the incline. So you've got to be patient and work with these types of kids. And it's, and it's imperative you know, to teach them how to flex their gut, use their gut, use their upper back when they're benching because again, their nervous system's dead. So if they're, if they're benching, all they focus, all their nervous system considers is their chest. Whereas a faster twitch type athlete, their body knows that they have to fire their traps, their delts, their rotator cuffs, their pecs, their lats, their triceps, biceps, everything. Whereas the slower twitch guy, his nervous system's dead so he's, he's, they're only focusing on one or two muscle groups instead of six or eight. So you've got to, it takes time for them to learn. You've got to be patient with them. You know, another trick I'll use is I'll have them back squat, you know, for a triple. So they'll do a triple back squat, pretty heavy. And then they'll, they'll do that with V-ups to work the gut, work their abs to teach them, okay, we got to wake up the abs when we go back and back squat. So that is, there's this coordination involvement in between sets that forces them to keep the nervous system heightened. You know, taking a slow twitch kid and blasting him out for 20 reps typically isn't going to improve him using the stretch reflex because he's good at, at reps, at high reps. He's not good at the high threshold portion. So again, you gotta train the high threshold rep schemes with the people who struggle to use the stretch reflex. And and it, that, I can't tell you how imperative that is. And, I, and I'll even like to use, you know, a great example is an Olympic weightlifter who's bounced, they get, they get pinned with a clean. You know, watch the Olympics. You'll see guys get pinned with a clean in the hole. They go bounce, 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 and they're up. They didn't get stronger, but what happened is the GTO is telling their, their body, recruit, 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 and they recruit more motor units, and they're, these are fast switch type athletes and they function properly, they can get out of the hole and then they hit a big jerk, you know, win the Olympics. That's what these kids need. So pause front squats help a lot because you can sit there and pause. But the big thing is, you know, someone who's a faster twitch, you can say pause, drive up fast. These kids, it's, it's a little better to say pause than sink and go. Pause, sink and go. So there's a little difference on, on the training tool that, on how to utilize it to get them to to comprehend what the reflex is and why they need to use it. You know, same on the incline. Even in, even in lat pull or dead hang pull-ups, the lats get lengthened. That's what's getting strengthened. Lengthening is strengthening. Lats get lengthened. There's a reflex, pull up fast. And that, it'll, it'll help a lot, of, a lot of these kids, you'll see when they're doing pull-ups, they don't like to go past here because that's where they're weak. They're slow twitch. They don't, they don't, their body doesn't understand that when it's lengthened, it's got to recruit. So that's another thing. You could get a kid on the bench, one and a quarter reps for three, rest a minute and a half, get over on the pull-ups, okay? Boom, out of the hole. But do one and a quarter for three reps. That's going to really, really ingrain them. And they've got to do this all the time because it, that's the way their nervous system's set up. So with a slow twitch type athlete, you've got to hammer in utilizing the stretch reflex. You know, you could also use some of these tools with the fast twitch guys. It's, it's going to help their training too. But with a slow twitch, 
You've got to focus on the stretch reflex. The slow twitch athletes need that to increase their, their, their sports performance in every single sport. So hammer that into them, ingrain it into them, and hopefully they're going to compete at the absolute best that they could ever compete at.